back to the KY3 Garden Spot with Dan Big. We were at Fast Night Creek Farm, and here we are at the end of season number 19. Can you believe it? Hard to imagine. Yeah. Isn't it? Who would ever thought last week when we were in our shirt sleeves we'd need a fire oh, yeah. to, to <laughs> film our last segment? But uh, <laughs> we're past all the pumpkin selling, and all the flowers are in the frost, and now it's time to get busy. And we spend a lot of time in the winter time trying to improve the property yeah. and uh, eliminate a lot of the big trees that shadow the fields and things and some of them we can dig out with the backhoe but some of them we gotta do it the old-fashioned way like mr frank phipps taught me he dug out <laughs> many a tree and cleared many a field to grow tomatoes for the cannery and yeah. he taught me this little trick that if you can't pull one out you just cut a little hole in the top and start a fire and okay. pretty soon it'll be gone so bring the weenies or marshmallows yeah, we uh, <laughs> got the Bradford pears and this is a tree of heaven over here we've got uh -huh. a lot of silver maples and uh, elms that just don't do us any good and we've got five acres of woods in behind us here that we're hoping to clear out a little bit and take some of the invasive species like the euonymus and the bush mm -hmm. honeysuckle get them out and plant a lot more native species mm -hmm. that uh, will remind people of Missouri, Missouri hardwood forest. Okay. So, well, there's a lot of Missouri history here, too. Yes, sir. I tell you what, my oldest uncle can remember his grandfather who was homesteaded out on Clear Creek at Briar Springs, mm -hmm. talking about how happy they were when they got their first cross-cut saw <laughs> because they didn't have to do it all with a double-bitted ax anymore. Uh, and yeah. Sometimes when I'm whining using that steel chainsaw, I think, when would I ever been happy <laughs> to have a cross-cut saw in my hand? So yeah. everything's pers perspective. All righty. Well, everybody came out and got flowers, it looks like. Yeah, we had a great weekend. We opened up the farm to folks and they came and the joy that was spread people were coming and giving folks to flowers to their friends their mothers people in the hospital and it was a really nice way to yeah. end up the season had a good season sold a lot of pumpkins and produce and it just i'm always amazed at the good customers and uh -huh. the people that watch us on ky3 and just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and hopefully both of us will be around for year 20. <laughs> all right well we'll look forward to new adventures down here in the dirt <laughs> you <laughs> okay. betcha all right we'll see you next year